May there be light and there was light. Okay, words of the said Godmother Eve. I'm just having a bit of fun here. I really want to explore more on the gods, but again, I like to also show that where we are um, looking at the scriptures, that it's a mathematical construct, that if we take the time to deconstruct the um, letters or words, and um, in a numerical um, lens, we will see um, or get more essence. So um, this I will perhaps term your name has got more to it than you perhaps had considered. So I say this with um, the view of to examine the word Peter again. So I know I have done a presentation on Peter. Peter. So I was watching the presentation where I talked about Peter, um, the, the disciple or one of um, Christ's disciple, which was said to be the one who was perhaps closest to Christ. He was um, I get the impression that he was one who was very inquisitive, very eager to know, to learn, because he was the one who um, walked on water with um, with God or with Christ, and or in, in this sense, let's just say with Jesus, um, on the waters, when um, Christ walked on waters, Jesus Christ walked on waters, and Peter of course said, um, I want to do the same as well. And of course, he began um, to sink and cried unto Christ for help. And of course, this is when I think it was said, O ye of little faith. Um, it may have been said in another context as well, but this is what I remember. Okay, now I looked at the word Peter, so let's do the numerical value, because I was working around the number 10. Of course, the number 10, um, which is perfect. So let's work with Peter first. Nine. Now, there's a thing that I do, because that's how we were taught to pronounce words anyway, that we have syllables. And so sometimes I look at a word, I try to turn it um, inside out, turn it around, move the letters um, around, because that's what creation is about. And of course, or just break it down like I see the word beginning and I think, oh, there's the word beg. What would beg have to do with beginning? But this is another thing, like someone who say, I beg you. You know, and there was the, this would be used in some term that um, maybe it was used um, in I beg your pardon, for instance, um, like a, a seeking um, a, to elicit some whatever it is that you want. So I beg. So the word beginning was begging, was beg in something okay it was beg it begged the word in beginning and end meaning it was begging a cycle so let's look at peter and of course if we add this together this is 19 20 28 of course 2 plus 8 is 10 so we have 10 here okay now this is where you say you score 10 out of 10 but creation is like that. Of course, when we look at the word 10, it gives us 552, five, which is 12, the 12 disciples. Of course, 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, I see free as freedom, and it actually equals freedom. Freedom is the word that, um, of number 3 is actually the numerical value for freedom. And so, this also reminds me that the first word Mother Eve utters in her spell, when she says, let, 
because to let is also saying free. It's free something. It's like um, let is like to allow um, something. Okay, so the word let, L-E-T, which is three, five, two. Of course, we have that um, in a different, because we have, I'm just thinking, okay, so this is also 10. Let's look at it this way. And when we do the numerical value for the word 10, we of course have the same thing, the same words, the same numerical value, excuse me. So 10, of course, is two fives and a two, and here we have three. But Mother Eve is already indicating the, the numerical value for us. She's already, it's like a beginning and end here in the sense of introducing freedom in saying to let. She's introducing this as, uh, as the number three that we can create an N, a three, an E, and a W. She, she introduces that to let us know about the eight petal flower that we are. Of course, Mother Eve is in the middle here and showing that with the two, for instance, that there are two aspects of, of Mother Eve, if you like, in this sense, or two fives would be ten. So I just break it down like this. Okay. Now with Peter, of course, we have ten. What came to me, as I say, this is just being like amusing myself here with the word Peter. So I saw pet like on like I did on the um presentation and then I saw ER like beginning and end or end and beginning because the word end E N D is five five four which means this is 14, one plus four is five. So my earlier videos really show a lot on this and beginning which we have done B-E-G-I-N-N-I-N-G is seven, five, nine, five, five, nine, seven, five, two. Okay, so this is seven plus seven, 14, plus 10, 24, um, plus 19 here, and, um, and 11, okay, because I'm just adding this way just to simplify, yeah, this is 14, so it's 54, 5 plus 4 is 9, so this is how we have beginning and end, back to Peter, <laughs> so Christ, according to the story, told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. And that would mean that, of course, like I said in my other video, that Christ really called Peter Satan. But I think he was referring to the um, vibration as Satan. That vibration that was turning his attention from his objective the vibration of satan that were that he knew was just like a serpent would do tossing him turning him and really um having a having a game or a laugh and he was in a serious mode we could see and it's like really saying to peter stop forming around because this is serious. So just get behind me. I need to keep focus. And that's what Satan does. So why we come, we have brought Satan into this? Because Satan and Peter have the same value. One, 
one two one five adding this together uh, this is ten this is eight nine ten now there's something that actually struck me if Satan as well is meant to be as powerful as um, we have made him out to be I would have imagined that he would have all these bigger oh uh, um the greater n numbers like nine and eight and seven and so on this is what we have been taught to be more um valuable or that is stronger in essence but he actually has three ones here and this ones in itself is here telling us that there there is a lot of power in the in the number one in itself so s for instance this is like really one s which is the serpent the symbol of the serpent and the symbol of the serpent this is when it would be like the rod of moses we could say and when moses struck the uh, moses i'm talking about the story of um, Moses um, freeing the children of Israel I believe if you're watching this you would know about this um, it's in the movie of the Ten Commandments so when he struck the rod which we, we could say this is the rod and it turned to a serpent meaning that was it ever at any time not a, a snake or a serpent the rod is still number one is still the serpent or the snake or satan in this sense or mother eve the said god so we can see the said god is very present here now if we were to add because there's the s and we could see we have from the word of the said god s a s a we have two ones here which actually is 11 and if we were to do the numerical value for 11 e l e v e n it gives us six and so on and doing the numerical value for six gives us seven seven now doing the numerical value for seven gives us 20 which of course is two and we go back to one plus one is two right here so basically s a right here has the numerical value of two which we can see mother eve is very present in there as so as satan as the serpent okay now what i really wanted to point here i saw from the story that we learned of Peter, that Peter was really the pet, like they'd say the teacher's pet. And perhaps that's where the term derives from as well. I'm not sure. But Peter was the teacher's pet, was Christ's pet. So I thought I would add the numerical value for the word pet here which is two, five, um, and seven, adding this together gives us 14. This is seven plus five is 12 plus two equals 14. One plus four is five. Now, I felt that there was a mirror aspect because this is the beautiful thing that happens here as the pet this is what i said about the serpent in the garden of eden it was given as a pet it was given as as a present and this is another thing a lot of us do we give our children um animals as pets um or pets as gifts this is what i want to say pets as um presents and that's what happened here basically peter was 
the pet in pet or in the pack if you like or he was the pet and the er here er which is end and beginning of course we see that the and there's another thing that happened in the story of Christ as well because Christ was go, was moving or transiting into a new realm the new realm being crucified meaning he was getting into the he was completing an end of a cycle remember i've said that number um like the word end equals five and nine is beginning so of course five here the er would mean end and beginning so the end of a cycle the cycle is here the five which is also like a snake i am i'm not just saying this now i've said this in other presentations so basically five is uh the s the serpent mother eve but it sh but the eve is showing different aspects of her makeup in the number five the masculine which is hair and the feminine which is the bottom part of course now hair with the er meaning end and beginning is telling us that the serpent there is, is about to complete or is ending a cycle and completing another cycle this is where mother eve is present yet again because i have said that the teachings of christ reflects mother eve but it reflects the let there be light it reflects let there be the waters let there be the firmament to divide the waters because the word waters also equals five now where we have this flexibility this flow is also a depiction of the waters that which you can form anything with water you can in fact you can freeze it you can melt it you can um you, you can heat it it's you can do so much with water yet still it can be it can save you it can be destructive this is what we are calling again the, the whole aspect of god the whole aspect of god as god as the, the good god and god as the evil satan that we often like to refer satan as in, instead of seeing satan is that which shapes the water when it is when it is frozen or when it is liquid form so this this is what peter in actual fact represents but we have not taken the time to really break down peter to see how we become whole this is why christ said upon you i will build my church let's do church again c-h-u-r-c-h this is and three eight of course that's eleven and three nine three eight okay so there we are three eight three eight that's tw that's four plus um twelve which is three so this would be seven so basically church is seven i may have done this in a way that you don't follow because my eyes count uh it dances when i count okay but seven of course when we do the numerical value for seven it gives us 20. now of course when um christ said upon you i will build upon this rock i will build my church he refers to um, peter as the rock at that stage and so the rock r-o-c-k is nine six three 
of course for six nine that's the reverse to what we have been i'm going to hold on to this i need to really hold on to this this is nine six three but we have three six nine three six nine three six nine on the um template here three six nine three six nine three six nine but it ends with the k which is here where k representing like a table or like um of course k is representing like a table or it's representing a bar or it's rep representing um a, an end in this sense so there we are of course this is 18 19 20 here we see 20 as just as it was seven so seven is 20 and the word south where we plant because when christ is setting his um, foundation on peter the rock he is planting down in the south so the word south s-o-u-t-h is also eight two three six i almost said nine but this is 10 19 20. we see that here okay and there are more um words in this context that equals 20 but it doesn't come to mind now so basically for peter to be that rock there have to be of course i will set my rock meaning there's the other word set i'm not sure build it was upon this rock i will build b u i l d which is four three nine three i'm just doing this and this is um 16 19 20 21 so 21 is actually three so two plus one is three but when we write the number three, this is what we get. Nine, eight, two, adding this together is 19, 29. So two plus nine is 11. One plus one is two. And so three, we can see three is also foundational for planting as well as freeing as well as freedom it's as if it's saying you need to plant to be free and that is what we see christ was doing with peter basically there we had with three two ones the two ones which reflects free okay now back to satan of course we see satan equals 10 likewise peter likewise heaven h-e-a-v-e-n and the first thing that we heard or we learned of i say heard because it seemed like the spirit of sound mind um of course when we read something we we learn the sounds when it says the spirit of god moved upon the face of the deep it's as if i heard it this is why i said the word heard okay now we also have the word eve in heaven here eve in heaven so we know we are dealing with mother eve as much as when we talk about christ so heaven is eight five one four five five adding this together 15 20 28 just as we got for peter 28 so the so Two plus eight is ten. So heaven, we also have hell, H E L L, and I did talk about the spirit, S P I R I T, while I remember. So we have two back to hell. So I just five eight. Adding this together, this is twenty five plus two is twenty seven. Have I done this correct? Okay, no. This is meant to be 3 plus 3, because this is L with the numerical value. So this is 6 plus 5 is 11, and 
and 8 is um, 19. 1 plus 9, of course, this is more, this is so appropriate that in essence, hell is for us having to go through our sacrifice, numbers 1 to 9. So this is where we are going through our sacrifice, the whole journey to be a to be able to establish or find our heaven, if you like. So it's as if we need to uh, make contact with hell before we go to heaven. Now, this coincides with the having your Kundalini activated because you, we go through the, the hell is really the base of our spine or the sexual serum that in this case, or the lower chakras, we need to connect with hell before we get that serum up and activate the um, pineal gland. Of course, the process itself as well <laughs> reminds us, in my case, of hell because I was going through a lot of pain while my third eye was being activated my kundalini rise so that was very much hell for me and so we see that hell in this case could we say hell in this case was a bad thing that it has no good no good purpose could we say that couldn't we not see that satan pushing us having the negative and positive aspect of our being when we add one, one plus nine, which gives us 10, or two plus eight, which gives us um, 10 as well, because 10 um, in this sense of two plus eight is that we need to touch base. This is where we go to the headquarter zone. We go to headquarter zone. So with Peter being two eight, it's 228 it's that we need to go to headquarters zone this is where we do church there's a c there for church <laughs> okay and of course there's the six here which reminds us of the number of man that we are okay so we can see that um of course i think heaven was 28 as well just like Peter. So Peter was is all is in heaven there we could say. So but we have the two um polarities of male and female as I say and we could see here it could also be that which was said and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the of the waters or the deep. Okay um here we let's do um the spirit spirit which is two nine 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 seven one adding this together twenty seven twenty twenty seven plus ten of course um is thirty seven that's correct thirty seven which is really directly in direct correlation with the word perfect like p-e-r-f-e-c-t if i remember well this is seven five nine six five three two let's add this together this is 20 as i say my eyes go all different ways the 20 plus 10 is 30 32 okay i think i've got something in let's do this again seven five nine six that's it six five three two okay so this is ten twenty five thirty thirty seven right thirty seven is perfect that's um we are told that the number 37 is very powerful 
of course there is so much more to number 37 which i also will explore in other areas but we can see it is perfect so 37 and the spirit was perfect but of course the cycle takes us back to 10. this is why i say we are god in motion so when we get to 10 we are we have both negative and positive to create positive and negative to create so this is what with having the church here church which is which also equals seven which is, of course when we do the word seven we see it gives us two so the church is the rock in this sense and that's why now i understand why there are churches because the word seven equals 20 and two of course also equals rock so we can see how the church the churches has been um, built as the rock or the foundation for humanity in or it's portrayed that way but of course if it derives from the word seven why are we not looking at mother eve as the middle or the foundation of that church why are we not seeing mother eve which is the kundalini with when we do the numerical value for kundalini which is nine five nine three one four five three two adding this together this is ten fifteen fifteen plus twelve let's do this fifteen plus twelve and plus uh fourteen okay so we have five plus six eleven and we have four so this is forty one four plus one is five this is the church so christ this is why christianity tells you that christ or christ is the church i'm not sure christianity well christ is lord god but this is how i i interpret it that way because i have seen christ as the church within me and let's say christianity says that as well i don't think that would be um against the teaching of christianity to say that christ is the church but the church is within you okay so here we are now back to the pet the pet also which um is five as in peter this is five two which is two, uh this is 12 13 14 14 of course we can see the relationship with christ peter and mother eve right here of course with the kundalini <laughs> okay so we have 14 because of course mother eve equals five like 14 adding this together is 14 so the pet mother eve we have been treating mother eve like a pet <laughs> we have been not honoring mother eve as we ought to because of course our first learning of mother eve is that she has been ground level with us crawling on the floor with us um and it's no wonder there's another thing um that with um peter peter was said to be the one who was very quick to strike um the air of someone or and the air the word air of course was um is also six so the sword he wanted to strike 
the air or, or perhaps it did strike the air so we have 15 this gives us 15 the air is 15 and it was the left air I think it was I'm not too sure but let's just say the air so 15 1 plus 5 is 6 the air is in the middle hey again where we learn where you are in Christ you are a new creature and this is the air that of course Peter Peter struck the air off or however it was but we see it's hair number five of course we have the six hair and so Peter was central so Peter's teaching or Peter's um, um, significant the significance of Peter also mean to be hair in this new state by his action of course because he always had the sword. Maybe they all had swords. But the word sword, of course, is synonymous with the word words. And that is Mother Eve right here. So Peter had the sword and meaning he had the word. That's why he was always so active asking questions because he was of words and the words of course were is synonymous is a sword okay back to hair of course five plus nine is also 14 so there is something that we could also identify with that in the word adam a d a m which is four letter word here we have five letter word for Peter which coincides with um, with the word Christ as well is it Christ five no um, no Christ is six letters C H R I S T six letters but we could see how six had showed up here so we have one four one four this is another thing that we see this is the when we see uh, the word again, it's good to break it down. This is why Mother Eve says, I am that I am. But here is the, this is also I am. This also is I am because I am equals five, meaning 14. I am this is 9 plus 5 this is let's just do the whole thing this is 14 am is 14 if we add this together we still get 14 okay so we can see of course the um, meaning this Adam here is the uh, is not the original when we as we say it is the after, after the new Adam or the um, oh how I, I don't know I have to confess I have not followed up the meaning of the AD like BC I could say before Christ but this is really the opposite like saying before um, before Christ or after Christ so we have that AD here so that is Adam right there and basically we, we hear so of um, Adam as were the first man but here we could see that this is really meaning our new state to find our new state our new state of being okay 10 and that's the 10 actually that we are of course everything is cycle I must say we have go been going for cycles but now we are here on this 10 and how we have come to this 10 is by the journey Mother Eve has taken us to by positioning us in this developmental stage if you followed my um, 
video on dandelions, for instance, this is where Mother Eve was saying we need to count backward. So we will hear ending that cycle and Mother Eve was saying we need to count backward. We need to go backward like um, before Christ. So like the Adam actually which is also which also equals 10 so i had not quite understood it yet but i was just going with how i was instructed to do and so we see that this um backward counting as we as instructed is 10 adding one two three four together gives us 10 okay i'm just checking the time it gives us 10 and so this is how we see we are now in a state of creation. We are in the state of creation. We are now on this rock. We are on the Peter. We are on the Adam. We are, um, I am that I am, um, which of course all, all counts to five actually. But this is what Mother Eve really wants us to get to. I'm not going to do that now. We are with the spirit, which where it is the spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. So we are now working with spirit. We are now working at, with hell, heaven, and darkness. I'm just doing the words that I remember. Darkness, D-A-R-K-N-E-S. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. This is where the darkness, we are going back into hell for the darkness. One, one, five, five, two, nine, one, four. Adding this together, this is um, 15, so 14, 24. 26 28 as we have counted like heaven 28 so darkness and heaven is really the same and hell so hell we go through the darkness so of course the darkness we could say that we are going to the base chakra and there we are um, support, well, that's where we ignite the um, Kundalini. We activate the Kundalini. So here I hope um, just to wrap this up, to see uh, or show um, that Peter is that rock that was also darkness, that was also spirit, was also hell, was also um, heaven and it's no wonder that Peter being all of those things was perfect which is also the word perfect for building the church which is building the church which is seven seven of course is that which we are we including the day of rest but seven is also where we do or learn to do the serpent because the serpent equals seven this is where we are doing mother eve we have to go through the whole cycle do our crucifixion or our sacrifice of course the word sacrifice also equals 10 46 4 plus 6 is 10 so we can see that your name if you break down your name or get the numerical value of your name, you will know the character of your name. You will know your, the function of your name. So I feel this is really delicious. I hope you find it delicious too. Okay, thank you. Okay, and thank you subscribers and thank you new subscribers as well. And thank you for liking, I have noticed. Um, thank you for sharing and um, thank you for um, all you do and supporting this channel. Thank you.